welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Chidi I'm a lifestyle vlogger I make videos about my lifestyle family motherhood and some bits of medical school so if you're new here welcome 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 and I'm happy to have you here and I hope you join us here by clicking on the subscribe button down below and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos I really do appreciate guys so it's an emotional one today like <laughs> All right, okay guys, so it's going to be an emotional video today uh, because my parents, they've just left um, my house. So that's something we do, like something that is common to Nigerian uh, culture. So uh, it's called Omogwa. And what it simply means like mom, um, so the girl's mom uh, normally comes uh, after you've been bed to just stay with you for the as in for at least for a month or six weeks to help you like you know take care of your baby and also take care of you because obviously after just giving birth you're usually like very you know sore tired and you're also trying to get to grips with you know a motherhood so you have your mom there you know helping you every step along the way so that is what my mom came for um, after I just gave birth to my first um, son NATO so that was two years ago so she came then to help me you know take care of my baby and um, because I was going to go back to university because I was a full-time student when I had NATO two years ago and I had him during the summer in June so my mom came to you know help me take care of my baby as well as you know look after me as well but because I had to go back to school in September I pleaded with her to stay back so she could you know take care of my baby whilst i go back to the university and because i felt like my baby was too young to go to nursery he was like three months old around the time my university started so my, i went back to university in september and nato was born in june so he was like barely three months old so i wasn't confident putting him in nursery so i you know wanted to like have someone that i trust and at the same time i wanted to, to also you know uh, be in close proximity to my baby so because of that, I, you know, pleaded with my mom to stay back and, you know, help me look after my child. I wish she, like, you know, did. So I'm really grateful for that. Uh, so she's been with me since then. So she stayed back for the first, uh, you know, first Omogo. And she also, she was also with me when I got pregnant with my second baby, Vanessa. And also gave birth to Vanessa. And, you know, she's just been with me, like, you know, all through my pregnancies and also with my two babies. So I'm really, like, I'm insanely grateful to my mom because without her i don't even know how i would have managed guys you know how it's difficult in this country with uh child care it's like child care is really challenging in this country so i would say I, I did have a free pass yeah so it wasn't that, that challenging to me because my mom was at my beck and call so she's helped me so much and i'm really grateful for that so anyway guys so um so my parents they left uh today uh this morning and yes so they left back to you know london they've gone back to london to where they came from and yes it's just been so emotional guys and nato was crying the whole time you know these kids here yeah, you know they can actually sense things like you look at them and you think they are too young they don't understand anything but that's that's really like far from the truth because since yesterday like nato has been like re really clinging to my mom so it's, it's as if like he can feel like something is about to happen do you understand so he's been like proper clingy going to her room you know just being around her and stuff and then this morning as my mom was like leaving the door and we were downstairs when i was seeing them off like nate too was like he just had a meltdown he was crying lots he wanted to go with her and ah, i was feeling so emotional as well but i just had to like you know hold back the tears because you know uh, my mom she's always been there like she's been there right through from when I was pregnant with Nato to like his birth and now he's like 27 months old so Nato has you know has always been with my mom and my mom has always been in his life so you could understand how difficult it was you know uh, it was difficult during the whole separation and uh, with her going back to London so you, you can understand how difficult it was with her you know suddenly bidding farewell to the grandson and going back guys it was so emotional I'm going to attach the video somewhere there so you could see how he was like wailing and crying. Uh, I felt really bad. I I just I just wished I could, you know, do something about the situation, but like there was literally nothing I can do. But it was so heartbreaking to watch that scene. Come now. Don't worry, you take you take take it to London, okay? 
You go visit your grandma, yeah. okay? Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Look at your mom. Let's all come. So anyway, guys. So uh, yes. So the, my parents are in London now. I've uh, they've called to say they've arrived safely, and I've just got mixed feelings. You know, after they left, I was just like, oh my god, my house is so quiet. <laughs> because after they left, I think my babies here. They uh, they had like they went for they had a nap. So this is the second lot of nap they're doing in the day and it's just so strange like need to never naps because my house is always like you know noisy because my parents are always like listening to stuff over their phones so the kids you know are always like playing around Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah, that's. But now, like, my flat is so quiet. I'm like, what do I even do with myself? Like, <laughs> so I'm used to like you know that busy environment and stuff. But now. I'm just at loss of what to do with myself. I'm just like sat down on the floor. I'm thinking, mm, what do I do with myself? What should I do? Should I start cooking? Or should I watch a TV show? Or <laughs> So I'm just like, you know, I don't even know what to do with myself. I know I used to cry and be like, oh, like, I can't even get my me time. The kids are all over, I'm always all over the place. And, you know, they're always distracting me. I can't do stuff. But now they're asleep. They're having a nap. And I'm asking myself, Okay, what do I do next? Like, it's proper, proper strange to me. Anyway, it's fine. I'm still going to get used to the, the whole, you know, uh, situation. So this is the new uh, situation for me now, you know, living, not living with my, you know, mom. So I've done so for the over the past two years. So this is like me trying to like, you know, transition into like, you know, being by myself and taking care of the kids and, you know, trying to meet their needs all by myself without no help so guys yes that is it for me now and i hope your sunday is going great and as for me like i said i've just got mixed feelings i'm just sat down here you know trying to like you know evaluate my life <laughs> i know it's funny yeah but that is what is really going on so i just wanted to like give you guys a little update and i hope you guys are having a great week and yes so uh, that is it for me now and I hope you enjoyed uh, this little update <laughs> that I gave and please uh, subscribe to my channel to keep updated with my new videos and if you do have any video requests please let me know in the comment section and I'll happily oblige your requests so guys I'll see you guys in my next video and remember to like comment and share and bye